everybody. And I know it's been a very, 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 very long time since I made a video because of Miss Coronavirus. I haven't been making any videos because my kids are here. They're running around. They're getting on my last nerve. I have a little baby. She's like two years old and um she doesn't let me do very much so now that this is basically going to be the new normal i said i might as well make me a video i mean i've been waiting and waiting and waiting for stay at home order to lift and looks like corona is going to be around for a very long time so i'm making this video while she's taking a nap and i'm very rusty i've only did my makeup maybe one time since coronavirus it's been a long time like two months three months i i've lost count i don't even know what today is but y'all need to just bear with me i don't even know what i'm about to do i'm just making a video just to do something so i'm going to talk to y'all about what's been going on i have my wine this is all i've been doing is drinking so i'm gonna be talking to y'all about what's been going on while i've been in quarantine I hope y'all are staying safe. Um, I've lost family members to the coronavirus, unfortunately. I lost my cat. I know y'all always hear me talk about Prince in all my videos. He died. I don't even know if he died from coronavirus or what he died from, but he passed away. He was only three years old. I have an aunt that's fighting for her life right now. Due to this stupid coronavirus, and then Police brutality has been happening again in the black community. <sighs> Another reason to stay in the house. Anyway, so let's get started. You know I'm looking a little raunchy right now. I'm going to look good when the video is over. So let's get started. Guys, where do you live? Where are y'all locked down at? I'm in New Orleans, as everybody knows. So if you don't know, you know now. Things are pretty bad. They're getting better. My eyebrows haven't been done in Lord knows how long. Y'all see that, huh? Oh, quarantine has everybody going crazy. My sister included. I have like a million sisters, but one of them has really completely lost her mind. She doesn't, she's probably going to be embarrassed when she sees this, but she's completely lost it. Like, she don't even want to talk to, she's one of those people that if you call for on the phone, she'll be like, oh, I got to go coronavirus. Like, she's really lost it. But anyway, we've been trying to stay in the house. Kids are getting on my nerves. I love them. I've been a teacher. I'm not great at doing that either. I do not understand this common core crap that the kids are doing. And my nerves, like, okay, I think I might have told y'all this before, but I'm a biter, a nail biter. My nerves have been so bad. Do y'all see this? Me biting, like, it's bruised from me biting. See that? Like, that's how bad my nerves have been being stuck in this house. Not that I go anywhere anyway. I'm a homebody anyway. But I guess just the fact that it's a lot. It's just a lot. And like every time you leave your house to go to the store, you have to be so cautious. It's, it makes you anxious. I mean, I love being able to be in the house and not go nowhere, honestly. But I would like to have the option to leave if I want to, you know. Don't really have that luxury right now. Oh, it's crazy. They lifted the stay-at-home order here. We're in phase one in New Orleans, in Louisiana. We're in phase one. So, basically, you can leave your house, but they still advise you to stay home. If you can work from home, work from home. If you must go out, only to get essential stuff as usual. And if you gather, it has to be like a 25 percentile or something. I don't know. I don't have time to be doing all that counting and trying to figure out numbers. So, I just stay at home because I'm in a high risk situation as far as me having lupus. So I don't need to go anywhere anyway. But um, yeah, so what else has been going on in my life? This might be a long video, y'all, because um, I'm deciding to do a little chat while we do my makeup. I'm so rusty. I am so rusty. Let me tell y'all these stories. This was like maybe 
the third week into lockdown. And I waste something on the floor. I can't remember what it was. But I went to get my uh, my mop and my bucket, right? So my son was taking a shower. My daughter was in the kitchen washing dishes. And I was going to mop. And I'm filling the bucket up like I was pouring water from a cup into it from the sink. I'm filling the water, the um, the bucket up. And I see something float to the top. And it was brown of the bucket. And I was like, So my daughter was like, what is it, mom? I'm like, it's a rat. Oh my God, it's a rat. It's gotta be a rat. He's dead. He's floating to the top of the, the bucket, right? So she was like, well, I don't want to get it. And I was like, well, I don't want to get it either. So I'm like, my son is the man of the house. You don't let him get it. Huh. So I go knock on the shower door and I'm like, uh, like Jaden, um, I got a nice surprise for you when you get out the shower. When I tell y'all no lie, he hopped out the shower in less than 2.5 seconds. Cause he thought I had something special for him. So he gets out the shower. Y'all, I am so messing up on this. So anyway, he gets out the shower and I'm like, yeah, we have something for you in the kitchen. And he's like, oh, what is it? So he goes in there and I say, it's right there in that bucket. Just just take the bucket outside and just, uh, you know, dump it, dump it in a, Dump it in the dish. Don't even, don't even look in the bucket. Just dump it. So he's like, "What is it?" I'm like, "Okay, don't get scared. There's a dead rat in there." He was like, "What?" So he looks in the bucket, and he was like, "No, are you sure?" So I was like, "Yeah." He said, "Well, I don't want to dump it. You dump it." So the three of us are standing in the kitchen fussing at each other. You dump it. No, you dump it. No, you dump it. So he's like, "Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." So he goes into the bucket, and he said, "Wait a minute, ma." I don't think that's a rat. I said, well, what is it? No, it's not a Oh, first, when he first when when he first was guessing, he said, Is it a possum? Is there a possum in here? And I'm like, what is it? That's random. Where did that even come from? So anyway, he finally looks in the bucket and he's like, Ma, this is a package. That's not no rat. It's a package. I'm like, why would a package be in the pantry? Because we keep our mopping our bucket at the bottom of the pantry. So why would why would a package be with the food and the mop in the, in the bucket? So he's like, uh, I know, I don't know why it would, but that's what it looks like. Do y'all know what it was? He took it out and guess what it was? A brownie. That's when I knew we lost our minds. That's how I knew. Being locked up for three weeks, not going nowhere, not seeing nobody. That's how I knew we had lost it. And I was like, from that moment on, I realized that we needed to go outside like each and every day for at least two hours to just like breathe, you know. Even uh, I would take the kids on a little outing and bring them to their sister school around the corner to pick up meals just to get them out the house because we mistaken a brownie for a rat. It's not enough wine to get me through this. So first I'm gonna go in with this palette, take me to Brazil. And I'm gonna go in with this strange color here. Y'all, it's so much of stuff that's happened. I can't even remember half the stuff, honestly. It's been a long 10, 11 weeks. Trust me, there were so many stories I had to tell y'all. And now that I'm here, I can't remember half of them. But just know that um, it's been a hell of a ride. I mean, huh. I can't even tell you the name of the color because they don't even have them labeled. So if you have the Take Me Back to Brazil palette, this one, I'm using this color here yeah y'all it's been really crazy people are dying and oh man did y'all get y'all stimulus check because i didn't hmm. i didn't qualify 
It's okay though, it's okay. I still have my life. That's what matters. Can't put a price on that. So I'm gonna go in with this hot pink right here. The same palette. You know what else happened? Because now my kids are here 24 seven. And this like really has my nerves like really torn. And you know, I'm not proud of it, but I, I curse. And now that the kids are home all day long, now my little baby has picked up shit. Oh God, I'm like, Lola, please don't say that. Shit, 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 shit. So now I have to work on not cursing. It's tragic. I mean. I can't drink in peace. I can't eat in peace. I can't. I have to share all my snacks now. I'll wait till they go to sleep to eat the snacks. Don't judge me. Try to bring it up a little higher and blend it while I'm bringing it up. I am so rusty. I mean, I haven't had to do my makeup because I'm not going anywhere oh yeah I'm real rusty oh what and I know everybody's like where are this everybody feels like everybody should be being productive and learning how to do something um new and all this other crap which I did learn how to do something new I got tired of my nails looking like they did. This is before the nail shops opened. And of course, they have a lot of guidelines like for you to go in the nail shop now here. But during quarantine, I bought myself a nail drill. I bought myself the acrylic. And I was doing my own nails. I've been doing my own pedicures. I did my own nails. So now I know how to do a whole set. So I have been doing that like to, you know, Past the time I'll go sit outside and do my nails. But um other than that, I've been just trying to relax. Because when those kids are in school, I my two oldest, they do a lot of activities in school, so I'm always gonna go with them. And then that little baby keeps you on your toes. So I was grateful to have this time to just rest and not do absolutely nothing. I got bored at times, but you know, it's okay. I just feel like some of us need to take this and look at it as a positive thing instead of dwelling on the negative thoughts because yes, people are dying, which is sad, but you have to find something to get you by, you know? I don't know if I'm rusty or if it's the wine. Okay, so although I cut my crease, I'm still gonna use the same pink that I use for out here. And I'm gonna start that off here
Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly how I want it. So now I'm going to go in with something crazy. I'm going to go in with orange. So I'm going to go in with this orange right here. And I actually just used the same brush. I just cleaned it off. So that orange and pink is coming together really nice and i'm laying down another color i tried to blend it with the other color at the same time so i don't have to go back and re-blend it i just find it that it's a little easier for me to do that okay so now i have that orange on and i'm gonna go in with another bold color which is blue this magnified color edition by Romo London. So I'm going in with this blue here. I swear to y'all, it feels like this is my first time doing my makeup ever. It just does not even feel right. That's how long it's been. I, the hands feel weird. Like even holding this brush feels weird like right now i'm questioning did i use the right brush for this i don't even remember i think it's gonna take a lot of us some time to get back to back adjusted to our normal everything because um my nerve is hella bad right now mm-hmm mm-hmm So right now I'm going to take a little bit of the orange that I used here and I'm going to take a little bit on a weird brush. I don't even know what kind of brush this is. And I'm going to just try to blend these two right here. Now I, my eczema is flaring up bad me and my daughter my little baby she's covered in them and i'm like we in the house why is this happening to us and we're in the house mm. oh that's so good but yeah i don't know I guess it's just that season so anyways so as y'all can see i attempted to do my wing liner off camera. I literally feel like I'm learning how to do makeup all over. Again, from scratch. Like from number one, learning all over again because it's just not coming out like I wanted it to. And thanks quarantine, thanks coronavirus. Thank you for all the things you've done in the last couple of weeks especially for forget how to do things i'm just gonna carry on even though i don't like how it came out at all i wonder if i added lashes would it look better but y'all know i suck at doing lashes but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try Now you ask why am I putting this on my lashes? For some reason, even though I still have trouble putting on lashes, it seems like it's a little easier if I put the lash glue on my real lashes first. So let's see.
So I have my lashes on. I'm not even sure if they're on now, right? At this point, I don't even care. You know what I should name this video? Getting back to my routine because I'm starting all over. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. It's crazy how you can lose so much in a few weeks. Some of y'all might think, oh, it looks good. Not to me. Okay, let's move on. I'm over it. Okay, so right now I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Matte Ambition. So I'm going to go in with Wash Me Blush and I'm going to go in with a darker color, which is Hot Cocoa, right here. And I'm going to use this to contour my face because I purchased a contour from Miss A and um, it's a bad idea. The contour is so light you can barely see it. So I've been contouring with this until I could get something better. Now I'm going to go in with a blush. I'm going to use this strawberry cream. It's in the same palette. I'm just going to take a little bit and I always go back over everything with my foundation brush because sometimes it's just too much going on i don't know if you guys know but when you're doing your blush you're supposed to at least keep three fingers in between your blush and your lips so basically you will start there and then you will start there for your blush tip 101 three fingers away Okay, so and I get that blended in. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. So right now I'm using the Infallible by L'Oreal. Now for some highlighter. This is Hustle and Glow by Wet n Wild. I think I told y'all this has become my favorite highlighter. You don't need that much. It's some. It's loose powder, so you don't need much at all. A little goes a long way. As always, I'm just going in to blend it. I always say you could, it's like toning it down. Whatever you got going on, your foundation brush, tone it down if it's too much for you. I like my um, lashes on tight like I want them. I want to make sure they don't fly off. I got this from Wu21 months ago for a dollar. It's an eyelash curler. It's so cute. It's purple. So I'm going to just like use this to kind of fix my lashes because I feel like they're not on there like they're supposed to be. <gasps> Are you serious? Now I don't know why it was a dollar. Ugh. 
almost took my eyelash off. Seriously? <laughs> this video is something else. Okay, so let's try this one. Wow. Okay. Oh, that looks better. Even though I almost took my eyelash off. <sighs> I'm sorry if I forgot to mention each product that I use, the name of it, but I will put it in the description below because like I told y'all, I'm trying to get back in the groove of things and I think I did everything backwards today. Literally everything. I don't even know if I missed putting anything on. I'm opening this lip liner that I got from Miss A for a dollar. It's made by LA Colors and it's in the shade Rose Brown. in the shade rose brown okay now i'm going in with this color by Remo london called kiss where's the kiss collection and the color is 33 And now I'm gonna go in with MAC Lip Glass. Don't know the name of the shade, but it's pink, clearly. Okay, I wanna fix this hair and come back and show y'all the finished look. Okay, so guys, this is the finished look. I feel like if I had been consistently doing my makeup and making videos, that I would not have felt as bad as I did today. I mean, it looks okay, but I definitely have done much, much, much better. So now I have to get back in the routine of doing my makeup so I won't feel like I'm struggling or learning all over again. I hope you guys like it. I hope you bared with me through this entire video because today was the struggle bus, really. My lashes for a change look good. I mean, I got them on. It didn't take as much time like usual, but I don't know. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Always subscribe to my channel. If you love it, subscribe. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, still subscribe. Looking out for my next video. I don't know what the next video is going to be. But I'm about to try to get back consistent with making my videos and doing my makeup. And I still have a lot of hair products that I wanted to make for y'all. Uh, healthy hair. So be on the lookout for those videos. And as always, thanks for being here with Exquisite Black Rose. Love ya.